Good morning, Badass. This is Coach Joe from the Summit Endurance Academy here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the most common questions I get, which is, hey coach, I was doing these 30 second intervals and my heart rate never hit zone five. I went as hard as I could and my heart rate never hit zone five, or I was doing these one minute intervals. So, a couple caveats with heart rate training. Number one is that heart rate takes time to respond to workload. So, using my handy dandy little uh, coach helper here. If I get on a treadmill and say that the treadmill goes at this speed, okay? Assuming that, well, and whatever that speed is, my heart rate is going to start wherever I am at rest. And then over time, probably between three and five minutes, that heart rate will start to level out, okay? So you can see that I might be doing the right speed. But at 30 seconds in, my heart rate isn't going to show the right speed. And that doesn't matter. The speed is the part that matters. The effort is the part that matters. What the number on the heart rate monitor says for an effort under three minutes, don't fucking worry about it. It doesn't matter. Okay. The next time when, we, when heart rate can be a little deceiving is, say this is two hours. Okay. Okay and say it's a hot day. So this is what's called heart rate drift. So you could be going along at your nice low heart rate for your zone two, and over time, that heart rate's gonna creep up and creep up and creep up and creep up. So a couple different ways to approach this. Some coaches have different philosophies on this. Uh, my opinion is that you let this happen. You keep that same speed, you keep that same effort, and if the heart rate drifts up a little bit later, that's fine. You're still maintaining mechanics, you're still maintaining speed. Okay, so two issues with heart rate monitors. One, that it takes the heart rate time to catch up, and two, that you can get some drift later. Have a good day.